What's going on guys, Comes are back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today this is a much needed video I think because we kind of are getting to that time now in Diamond Dynasty or especially MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty where of course we have Immortals and a lot of people are getting the Immortals players so um, if you want to really compete and you want to keep up, you're going to have to start getting some of these, you know, best cards. Obviously, you know, I, I have a couple of them. I have a lot of them really close to being done, but... Uh, really honestly at this point if you want to really compete in the top dogs and like the top division in ranked seasons having these cards it's not gonna necessarily guarantee you wins but hey it's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier so today I will be giving you guys a bunch of tips on how to grind these missions you know whether it be immortals career arcs pretty much any gameplay grinding that you would have to do the fastest and the quickest and just a quick note if you are wondering where is my pack opening that I said was gonna be today I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. Last night I was playing basketball and I did, I, I messed up my foot. I really don't know what I did. Uh, I have it propped up right now, but just out of fear that I would pull a diamond in the pack opening and you know my dumb ass. I'd probably stand up, start running one way. I'd probably trip and fall and it'd be one of those I've fallen and I can't get up situations. And I don't have life alerts, so that's really not gonna be too ideal. But nonetheless, I wanted to get a video out to you guys. So the first one that we are going to be talking about is basically the this is a simple one, but it is uh, something that you should know. Um, this one is going to be stacking your lineup. So let's say, for example, you want to grind the Albert Bell. And as you guys can see, you're going to need to tally stats with lefties. Uh, silver bronze are common or uh, lefty or not lefties, but left fielders and then left fielder diamond or gold. So what you're going to want to do for this to make it seem the absolute quickest, you're going to want to just stack your lineup with just one. So you just want to fill this in and uh, you might be wondering why I'm just putting in guys, even though these uh, aren't necessarily their positions. And I will show you that in just a second, but that's pretty much how you want to do it. For example, um, for any really position, because you could mix and match, have like half of um, half diamond and gold on um, uh, and then half golden or half silver commons and bronze and half diamond and gold but this way it will be the quickest especially if you're just starting out it will seem to go a lot quicker and what you're really gonna want to do with this the reason why I have you know like uh, uh, Kyle Schwarber or Kyle Schwarber can play center field but the reason I have Brantley a catcher and stuff like that is it simply does not matter because going into my next point um the quickest way to grind these hitting stats you know whether it be for Albert Bell, El Mora, Frank Thomas, Duke Schneider whoever it may be the quickest way what you're gonna want to do go into a play versus computer game personally I recommend the Miami Marlins they are their pitching is bad and uh, I, I guess I just do a good job hitting at that ballpark in general but play them on rookie um, of course you want to be the away team that is very very important for this and all you're gonna do is hit you just hit until basically you get out until the bottom of the first inning so just go until your first ups then quit out come back and repeat the same thing it goes a lot quicker now granted if you are uh, currently trying to grind pitching a lot too but um, that might not be the best way, but if you are just trying to grind hitters, which personally, uh, I mean, I, I usually don't, I don't really have too many pitchers grinded out that much except for CC. Um, if you're just trying to get a hitter, this is the best and fastest way to do it. Um, just like I said, fill your lineup up with whatever position you're going to grind with uh, that certain tier and uh, just head into uh, head into a game, only bat your half, quit out and uh, rinse and repeat. Very, very simple and it will go very, very fast like I said. Now, moving on to the next one, I will have to get into gameplay, so I'll see you guys in a minute. This is going to be a very important tip for you guys. Some of you may know about this, but I know a lot of people do not know about this. And basically, a big problem that people are having is uh, they're trying to grind pitchers, but they can never get the pitcher they're trying to grind and they need a specific pitcher to do so. So this is really how you're going to be able to do this. Mind you, this trick will not work if you're trying to get complete game shutouts or something like that. It will not work. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to throw one pitch. We'll just, you know... Just do something like that. Just throw a pitch out, 
or I think actually it'll make you pitch to a batter. So we're just going to intentionally walk him very quick. And uh, this is basically how you're going to be able to use any pitcher that you want. So what you're going to want to do is just, it doesn't really matter what position, make sure you have a replacement for them. But let's say for example, I need to grind Don Sutton. We're basically going to put him in at catcher and then we're going to sub Don Sutton in for Matt Horvey swap positions. So now Don Sutton is actually our pitcher. Um, granted, he has no energy, but keep in mind, guys, if you're playing on rookie difficulty, it will not matter. You're still, you know, he's going to pitch the exact same and uh, really will not detriment you in any way possible. And then if you don't want Harvey in, you can simply replace with an actual catcher because especially I would recommend a catcher. If you have Harvey in a catcher, he's going to drop every other baseball. But that's just a quick and easy way to be able to use pretty much whoever you want on the mound. And uh, yeah, just like I said, quick and easy tip. But like I said, you did pitch to one batter, so it does not count as a complete game. But if you do need to get stats with one specific pitcher, this is the way to do it. All right, next I want to be talking about getting saves and holds very, very quickly. The easiest way to do it is in conquest mode. Basically, you're just going to want to play like a regular conquest game. It really does not matter. Um, what kind of game of conquest you play, you know, whether it's attacking or anything like that. So you just get into a conquest game. Of course, you know, they are three innings and uh, really it's this simple. The first inning you pitch with your starter, um, but keep in mind, keep the, keep the runs within three. Don't score any more than three runs unless you give up some runs Then you can score more than three. But obviously, you know, the save hold is or... Um, the maximum runs to have a save pretty much is three so you really don't want to go over that so first inning pitch with your starter second inning pitch with the reliever and then the third one you pitch with the closer so you will be getting a win with your starter a hold with your reliever and then a save with your closer in just three innings very very quick and fast of course unfortunately for conquest you can't really get complete games because they do I think last year you could get away and finesse it but this year I think they have a minimum requirement of eight innings pitched but that is a quick and easy way to get saves especially for guys like Gossage um, you know 25 saves uh, with him alone uh, saves it does take a long time to get because you only can get one per game obviously you can get multiple holds per game but that is the fastest and easiest way to get saves once again talking about saves though there is actually one more way to get saves if you guys do not know um, and this is going to be a lot more helpful if you're playing uh, play versus computer because obviously, um, for example, the first thing I was talking about, if you're grinding one of these and you're going to be scoring a lot of runs, um, this is something that is going to uh, really help you out because, you know, if, if you play versus computer on rookie, you're going to score like 20, 30 runs or something crazy like that. And uh, hopefully you're not giving up 20, 30 runs to the computer on rookie or else uh, you probably aren't trying, that's hope. But um, anyway, the easiest way that you can get a save then is any release lever pretty much if you have them pitch three innings uh, they will be getting a save on this obviously you give up the lead if you're winning by 259 runs and you put in a new pitcher in the seventh inning he pitches the seventh eighth and ninth he will get credit for the save just as he would you know in a regular save situation in the ninth inning down by or uh, up by three so that is another easy way to get saves especially like I said if you are grinding one of the hitters where you are going to be scoring a lot of runs of course with a lot of the earlier missions one uh, one in specific is this uh, uh, Joe Torre, of course, uh, I, I didn't even do this because I have no interest in getting this card, but you have to get 25 doubles, and uh, I've heard many horror stories of people trying to get doubles, but they always ask me because I honestly don't have too much trouble getting doubles. You guys already know they ask me what's the stadium, what's the move to go to. Honestly, I think it's Coors Field. Why? It's just the best in general. It's big, and it has a high elevation, so balls really do fly, but they don't necessarily go out of the park all the time. It's cheap as well. A lot of people might say Polo Grounds, uh, it's going for 13.3K. And honestly, I think Coors Field is actually a little bit better to get extra base hits, specifically doubles, because of course, if it asks for extra base hits, you know, home runs and triples count as well. But I know, for example, uh, Mike Piazza's was pretty hard. Uh, you had to get like 15 doubles with this card, which has 23 speed, which is not easy. But like I said, I went to Coors Field and I was getting at least one double, you know, a game. It, it was really, really quick and easy. So I would recommend Coors for getting doubles. And then finally, my last tip is uh, walks because uh, there's quite a few guys that require walks. I know the Justin Bohr program required a walk. 
um, Alejandro de Aza did as well, and I think a couple other ones require walks. Um, do not play on rookie to get walks. It is pretty much impossible. Unless you get intentionally walked, you probably are not gonna, you know, get a base on ball. So the easiest way to do that, just go on all-star for a little bit. That really is the easiest way to get walks because um, if you're playing on rookie, they're gonna pretty much just throw you fastballs down the middle of the majority of the time. So on all-star or even veteran difficulty, obviously, I would recommend all-star or higher. That's, you know, the best chance to get walked. Um, that's really what you want. Another thing that you could do, for example, like I said, Alejandro de Aza has one, if I can find him right here. Um, just put him on the bench and you can maybe get away with this on rookie if you ever get in a 3-0 count. Just pinch hit whoever's up for uh, whoever you need to get the walk with. And then, you know, you have to just get one more ball. And of course, you can try to foul off pitches. I recommend just trying to use like the contact button and trying to be late to hopefully just foul pitches off and just keep battling. But like I said, the surefire way to get walks absolutely is going on all-star difficulty. Um, like I said, veteran might work, but even all-star difficulty Difficulty, it's really not that hard to get stats and there's a lot of missions that you could do like um, for a lot of these for example you know you have to get an all-star win or higher and uh, for a lot of team epics as well so you can kind of kill two birds with one stone but that is going to do it for this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like down below let me know what's your progress on all the immortals career arcs and everything in between of course we know there's two new immortals coming uh, like I said Ted Williams is gonna be one of them once again let me know down below in the comments who you you guys think is going to be the other immortal but uh once again if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like down below i love all you guys to death and i hope you guys have a great one today and there you guys comes out yay love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory i take